Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Problem number 48, uh, chapter 23, Gauss Law, Heller de Resnick Walker, International Edition 10. I'll read out the problem. Uh, a charged particle is held at the center of a spherical shell. Figure gives uh, magnitude E of electric field uh, versus radial distance R. The scale of the vertical axis is set by ES is equal 10.0 into 10 to the power 7 Newton per Coulomb. I have already written that here. Approximately what is the net charge on the shell? Okay. Uh, we have some shell. So this is the shell with a charge Q at the center of the shell. Okay. At the center of the shell. From problem number, there is some charge say capital Q on the shell. From problem number 44 and 45, we know that uh, a charged sphere or a charged shell for points lying outside it behaves like a point charge located at its center and for points lying inside it, field is just zero. Okay, for a shell, field is zero. So, uh, from center to this point, to the surface, field will be only because of this charge lying at the center. This will not contribute anything. Because all, all along this line, points are lying within the shell, so it will not contribute anything to the field. It will start contributing to the field when it's outside the shell, okay, when it's outside this. So from this point to this point, uh, field will be only because of this Q. And from outside, field will be because of the, both charges. Because for points lying outside it, this shell will also behave like a point charge located at its center. Now, graph shows us uh, three parts. Okay, graph shows us three parts. This part we can understand is because of the point charge from this point to this point smoothly inversely proportional to R square. Then there is this part which is a bit mysterious. We'll work out what it is. And then for points lying outside it, again the same shape, almost the same shape. Because then uh, for points lying outside it, the shell behaves like a point charge located at the center. So its charge Q will behave as if it's at the center. And then at center we have uh, another charge Q. So total charge will be Q plus Q. So it's again like a point charge. So that's why we have the same uh, shape for the curve. No surprises. But this part is what we have to understand. Now, uh, uh, this clearly tells us that there is some uh, another region which behaves differently from inside and outside. And that is very simple. That is very simple. The shell we are considering is a thick shell. Like this. It is a thick shell. So that, so that from center of the shell to the inner surface of the shell. Okay, to the inner surface of the shell. Now that it is thick shell, so we will consider inner and outer surfaces separately. From center of the shell to the inner surface of the shell. Field due to the shell will be zero because it won't contribute anything. Okay, field due to the shell will be zero. So field will be only because of this point charge Q. And no surprise, we have this curve inversely proportional to R square. Then this part where field is zero corresponds to the part lying within the shell. From inner surface to outer surface. This is the second region which is highlighted in the graph where field is zero. Okay, where field is zero. Then for uh, points lying outside the shell, completely out, outside the shell, then uh, this point charge is already there. This charge on the shell will also be like a point charge located at the center. So we again have field same as that for the point charge. So the three regions correspond, three regions in the graph three regions in the graph up to 2.5 centimeters, then from 2.5 to 3 centimeters, and then 3 centimeters onwards. The three regions correspond to from center of the shell to the inner surface of the shell. Then the second part contributes uh, uh, is the part lying between inner surface and the outer surface. And then third part is outside the shell. And from the graph, we can understand that uh, inner surface is here. 2.5 centimeters so inner radius is 2.5 centimeters and outer radius is 3 centimeters here let me it is this a bit so outer is 3 centimeter inner radius is 2.5 centimeters here and outer radius is 3 centimeters here where do i get that from from the graph itself 
ओके द रीजन चेंजेस व्हेन सरफेस कम्स इन बिटवीन सो 2.5 सेंटीमीटर इज द इनर रेडियस एंड 3 सेंटीमीटर इज द आउटर रेडियस 2.5 सेंटीमीटर इज द इनर रेडियस 3 सेंटीमीटर इज द आउटर रेडियस ओके नाउ वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट गिवन दिस ग्राफ वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड आउट चार्ज ऑन द शेल ओके चार्ज ऑन द शेल सो फर्स्ट आई फाइंड आउट चार्ज ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल व्हिच इज लाइंग एट द सेंटर ऑफ द शेल for that i'll consider the point this point here just inside the inner shell okay just inside the inner inner surface of the shell just inside somewhere here infinitely close to the surface from inner side infinitely close to the inner surface from inner side okay from inner side so we know feel at that point is only because of this charge okay and that distance that point since it is infinitely close to the inner surface so uh, distance from the center is 2.5 uh, cm so i'll write it here at a distance r equal to r1 which is 2.5 cm field is only because of the charged particle so gamma q divided by r1 square gamma q divided by r1 square so q is equal to e times r1 square divided by gamma from the graph field is here so this is 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 2 2 into 10 to the power 7 okay 2 into 10 to the power 7 so this is 2 into 10 to the power 7 r1 is 2.5 cm so we will convert it to meters 10 to the power minus 2 square Divided by gamma is nine into ten to the power nine. So everything is in SI system. This implies charge of the particle lying at the center. This I have already worked this out. Is one point three nine. One point three nine into ten to the power uh, minus six coulomb. One point three nine into ten to the power minus six coulomb. Okay, this is charge of the uh, particle lying at the center. now i'll consider a point uh, which is lying just outside the outer surface infinitely close to the outer surface meaning distance of that point is 3 cm and feel from the graph from the graph for the point just lying outside the uh, sphere is here and field is uh, 2 4 6 and 8 8 into 10 to the power 7 newton per coulomb but if our point is like just outside the shell just outside the shell then the shell behaves like a point charge located at the center so that means this charge q of the shell behaves as if this is all lying at the center here and we already have a charge q there so what is the total charge at the center q plus q q plus q and feel at this point will be because of that point charge q plus q so feel at r at r equal to r2 which is 3 cm field is equal to gamma q plus q divided by r2 square charge of the shell is behaving as if it's lying at the center then charge q is already at the center so total charge at the center will be q plus q and field will be gamma times q plus q divided by r2 square so this implies Q plus Q is equal to e r two square divided by gamma. This implies Q is equal to e r two square divided by gamma minus this little Q. So let's substitute the values. So Q is equal to e just outside the shell from the graph. We know uh, that is equal to eight into ten to the power seven. 8 into 10 to the power 7 newton per coulomb then we have r2 squared r2 is 3 cm so 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters with the square so 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters with the square divided by gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 9 minus little q remember that was 1.39 into 10 to the power what was it 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power minus 6 so this is what we have to work out i have already done that this comes out to be 6.61 6.61 into 10 to the power now a little homework for you uh, this is charge of the shell 
how is this charge distributed on uh, in this shell how is this charge total charge distributed in this shell because this is a thick shell this is a thick shell so charge is distributed uh, from this end inner surface of the shell to outer surface of the shell how is it is it distributed uniformly throughout this space is it distributed on the inner surface and the outer surface only how is it distributed uh, that is your homework okay that is, we'll be doing such problems in near future